Um, so what we have over here is a um, broadcaster view. So you're quickly going to explain how you're quickly going to explain how I mean it works. So I've just created a video ref over here where the video of the one who's initiating the stream, that is the broadcaster, will be um, kind of displayed. There's a button for the user to start the stream. Now I mean there's a few view things. So when um, <coughs> what we have over here is that when the um, person initializes the stream that is by clicking the button over here so to start the stream first of all we, we ask for permission to our um, get permission from our uh, camera and microphone so that we get the stream and the stream will be rendered on the page so the person will see themselves the broadcaster will see themselves on the browser then we we initialize what we call the streaming channel so and we initialize another um, the streaming channel basically um, is the presence channel over here a kind of dy dynamic presence channel which uses a stream id we specially create for this user uh, there's not much that i'm doing with the creation of the streaming link in this uh, the streaming id i just use the user's id and i add some random variables to it you can definitely improve upon your generation it's like the link for the id to maybe the live stream that you are doing now so we just initialize this presence channel for the user to be able to know who um, this uh, Laravel local so you join you initialize the presence channel you're able to see who joins um, the live stream and the users that are on are on the presence channel um, so in this case the users on the live stream and the streaming presence channel the users who join over here, what we do is that if I mean, we we always uh, store them in streaming users in it in array over there. So if a new user comes in there, we check that the ID of the user is no is not already around. We just add update if not we um, yeah if the user is not there, we add and we just get the ID of this current user. And what happens is that we have. Um, a special this this um, this joining um, was it event over here gives the broadcaster the ability to what um, detect when a new user joins the stream. So our logic over here is that when the new user joins the stream, you don't click in button, you automatically initiate or the peer um, the peer to peer signaling over here. Yeah, so that's what we do. So now when this new user joins, we just set the current the user who just joins ID over here. And this is where the actual signaling takes place. Now, because of multiple users are going to connect to the the the, the, the peer objects, I mean, are going to interact with the broadcaster. We create a, a method, a simple method to handle it over here. This I uh, use view this dot set to I mean update a particular object. So we have this dot all peers at the top over here where we hold all the dynamically created peers i mean using the id over here so what happens is i created a, a closure over here this actually this, this is the highlight of the current implementation because i was just trying to find a way to make it um dynamic enough so that it when anything a different user can be able to do it and this is just on point so what we have over here is just what i call the peer creator for the signaling, you need to, I mean, the, the broadcaster has to send their stream across to the other user for it to be displayed. We need to get the user and what I call a signal callback. Now, what happens is that when this is initiated, so as a closure, we kind of create an instance of it over here. So this dot peer creator, this is our stream object. The user is the new user who just came to join. And there's a signal callback. The signal callback, is a method that we fire when this um, when this signal event is um, emitted and I mean we receive this data uh, the offer data that is supposed to be sent across we pass the signal callback because this the, the, um, this event doesn't really return a promise for us to easily do it so we I just created the signal callback down here <coughs> so this is what sends the stream offer so after this and events get emitted now we get the offer data over here and we send the offer data over the wire 
to our back end so so this when we send the stream offer when it gets to the back end the stream um offer event is submitted and subsequently we um, it gets to what the, the 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 specific viewer so this is the broadcaster's id the receiver the user of and this is the signaling offer that we send toward the uh, the, the broadcaster now let's move to so sorry we sent to the viewer so when we come to the viewers the viewers component over here what the viewer is just doing is they also have a ref over here where they would render the stream they get from the particular um, was it the stream they get from the broadcaster so when the the when you share your link that is generated with the viewer when they visit the page they see this they see a button join broadcast you you see the demo i mean in the video at the button so at the bottom so when they join the broadcast what happens is they also initialize the streaming channel over here we realize that we dynamically created the presence channel with the stream id so when the stream id is extracted from the when the stream id is passed into this side which is extracted from the url it means that now both the broadcaster and the um, the viewer are on the same channel so that we don't get any form of collision or something like that it's dynamically created so for a specific uh, live stream um, channel or something like that the, if for the user to be able to join they just need a streaming id and that's how we ensure that that's what we get now so when the um and uh, we also initialize uh, i mean we initialize the streaming channel we initialize the signal offer now the, for the streaming channel over here what happens is that uh, we have um an event the signal of a channel now over here remember that i said that this when the offer is ready this signal callback just emit this event sorry um, uh, call uh, hit the send point with the following data and when it gets to the back end the stream of uh, the stream of um, when it gets to the back end over here when it gets to the back end over here i mean this is the uh, the stream of a uh, method like handler the stream of just broadcasts this over a particular channel so the stream um, it's it broadcasts the broad the, the broadcaster the receiver and the offer that is received over a particular channel so when we move to the stream of a um, the stream of a channel over here uh, sorry the stream of a event over here, i realized that it broadcasts it over a, a, a private channel which is named stream signal which is named stream signal channel dot a particular id over here which is the receiver and um, the receiver's id so what this this the receiver is the authenticated user on the viewer side so when the um, broadcaster <coughs> broadcaster sends it he includes the id of this particular receiver who just joined the stream so it automatically works out that when we initialize the signal of our, after the user click join this is when you'll be able to uh, listen <coughs> listen to uh, the stream of our event over here then we get a stream offer and those would create a, an a response peer so they use this off uh, they, they offer the receive and the data of the broadcaster we go ahead to what create a response peer over here so th this is how we handle it the response peer just works like this this user is not the initiator of the call so what they are sending back to the broadcaster is just the offer we just make it only receive only um for them so that's how we initiate it over here then we handle the after creating the p over here we receive the incoming offer and also <coughs> we also pass this function over here to use later so the handle so the peer we, the peer we created over here we pass through this handle peer event the incoming offer that came from the broadcaster is so, so passed over here the name of the broadcaster is passed over here and we just create a cleanup callback that handles instances i mean when the user leaves the chat and all that so over here we get the peer over here um, the peer object over here and what happens is that the viewer now signals that's it's signaling over here so when the signaling happens over here they just send the 
the streaming answer which is going to be received by our broadcaster our broadcaster over here <coughs> which is going to be received by our broadcaster so both the 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 viewer and the broadcasters listen on a signaling um, on a private channel the viewer i mean the viewer listens to it or not the listens to a stream offer and the broadcaster listens to a stream answer so now when it is um the answer is sent from the the viewer we go to the stream answer event over here it's also broadcast out on a private channel which has the id of the broadcaster over here is dynamically created so the broadcaster is listening to the stream signal channel dot their their id which is dynamically created there's a private event so now when they get the data we do some we just update the offer object i mean when it passes through the wire we just are supposed to update it a little is one of the issues that i encountered with the web rtc so i just looked up online and the fix was to just add a new line to the sdp within the answer um, of the signaling data then when this happens we do it now we um we get this the, we get the currently contacted user over here then we what now we want to call if um, a function uh, a particular method within the closure of the uh, peer um, the peer creator closure over here so what happens is that now we have all peers which is an object and because we store the currently contacted uh, users id now we're able to fetch that that specific one so that it will be an instance of that because it every every instance of um, we are supposed to get I mean, independent instances of um the, the peer we created so the peer we created over here we are supposed to get its instance so we set this peer over here we, we, we created this peer object over here and we stored it within um the disk that all peer so if you want to assess it and respond with um the complete the signal and this is what we do so we get the particular id then let's look at what the get peer we get the peer over here so let's see what get peer does within the closure so get peer just returns the peer objects we created within this peer creator um, closure then the having this con currently contacted user id means gives us a reference to a specific user that we want to who wants to and uh, we want to complete the signal in with then you have another method within it which says signal and we have the updated signal of value so let's see what the signal does <laughs> Sorry, and the peer, the peer, the a peer object has a method called signal, just to complete it. So we just call this method. We are using simple peer over here. You can look it up in the documentation to further understand it. So we just signal, we say, send us updated signal to complete um, our signaling. So when that, when that, um, when that is complete, over we the, okay over here the peer cre was already created and we already initialized all the events so now the streaming data comes to um the user doesn't um normally you would want you can receive if we sent a streaming data back to the broadcaster we'll be able to render it so that we see the um the account the, 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 the camera uh, sorry get the feed from the viewer but we don't need it in this case so on the viewers and the viewer actually sent it already and when that is established when that is established and they receive the stream objects from the um after the signaling they receive the stream object from the what do you call it from the broadcaster and they render it on their um on their page you have just other methods you can look up which a, a part of um the psc uh, sorry the simple peer package so basically that is how it works we have our other methods that do some level of cleanup and all that so that's that's basically how this thing works so just to quickly go about the broadcaster initiates a call the broadcaster initiates 
um, was it um, the broadcaster just initiated stream they shared their link with anyone who wants to join when the person logs in and join because you're using the web circuit in the presence channel we are automatically able to identify uh, detect that a new user has, uh, has joined the stream right off the bat we just send a stream offer to them they also process it and they send back a stream um, res um, an answer and when that happens when the signaling is complete the stream is the, the, the stream is now we are not communicating via the, uh, the server but through peer-to-peer -peer on our um, peer-to-peer through I mean our browser and now the connection is the streaming is done the stream is sent over to the this specific viewer that joined then the data is rendered on the video um, on the browser or on the screen of the viewer for them to see the, the, the streaming that is done from the broadcaster I hope it is quite clear enough to explain all the various methods and the up and down what I'm particularly proud of is this peer creator um, closure that I came up with and I'll just maybe go ahead and write about using closures in your view application I hope this is quite understandable yeah thank you